If you suffered through the itchy blisters associated with chickenpox as a child, you are at risk of developing a painful rash called shingles. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about one in three Americans will develop shingles during their lifetime, and there are an estimated one million cases reported every year. You can get shingles at any age, but the risk increases as a person gets older, and it's more common in people over the age of 50. In fact, half of all cases occur among men and women 60 years or older. Shingles is caused by the varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes chickenpox. After a person recovers from chickenpox, the virus stays in the body and moves into a dormant state in the spinal cord. The immune system keeps the virus under control, but stress or a medical condition that can weaken the immune system can reactivate the virus. When activated, the virus travels along a sensory nerve to the skin where it causes shingles. Shingles generally starts as a painful rash on one side of the face or body. The sensation can be itching, tingling, burning, constant aching, or a deep pain. The rash forms blisters that usually scab over in about seven to 10 days. The main symptom is pain, but other symptoms include fever, headache, chills, and upset stomach. People who get shingles usually only have it once, but it is possible to have multiple episodes. Shingles is not contagious, but the virus can spread through direct contact with the fluid from the blisters and could cause someone in contact with these fluids to get chickenpox. The only way to reduce the risk of shingles is to get vaccinated. Anyone over the age of 50 who have had chickenpox previously should be vaccinated for shingles. The vaccine boosts the immunity of the body to the virus, reducing the chances that it will reactivate. In those that do develop shingles, the vaccine can also reduce the risk for developing post-herpetic neuralgia, a painful complication from shingles by about 60%. If you are 50 years of age and have had chickenpox previously, or believe you may have already had shingles, contact your physician about getting vaccinated. For more information, visit www.cdc.gov shingles or whhs.com for the latest on shingles and the shingles vaccine.